Hi, I'm Lisa Eldridge and I'm here to talk to you about striking the perfect balance between your outfits and your makeup. I think makeup for real women and makeup for celebrities is actually the same thing. You know, a face is a face and the only thing that would be different is that they do the red carpet so, you know, they have a lot of flash photography and you have to bear that in mind very much when you're doing makeup. The actresses I'm working with a lot at the moment would be Kate Winslet, I uh, worked with Amanda Seyfried yesterday, I was working with Angela Riseborough. My personal style really starts with a dress and I'll do anything for a dress. If I see a dress that I love, I'll phone stores around the world, I'll be online, I need to track that dress down. Lots of dresses I've bought have some kind of story connected to them, whether it's a story like me and my husband, we met then and that's the, the dress that I saw the next day and I bought, you know, I've got a lot, lot, lot of my dresses, if you go through the rail, I can tell you a little tale about them. And that's really how I dress, it's quite uh, how I buy clothes, it's, it's very kind of emotional in a way. I'm not frightened of being quite dressed up during the day. I saw somebody talking the other day about me, so they saw me in a coffee shop in Houston in the most fabulous prom dress and I was like, yes, that was me. I love that creative process of thinking, God, you know, with this, it's that bag and I'm like this looking through all my wardrobe for that one bag that I got you know whenever 10 years ago from that vintage shop and that's going to be the bag that's going to go with this. I do really admire um, French women's style. I love that kind of easiness. I love designers like Isabel Moron and um, I love Sandro and I love Vanessa Bruno and I love that kind of relaxed French style. I always love sort of Jane Birkin and all those French movies were you know, the women just look so effortlessly chic. When you're getting ready for a party, I think that balance is really key. Don't do your full face, do your skin and your basic makeup. Once you know what you're wearing and you can see, you know, how it's all going to fit together and maybe which accessories you're going to wear and which bag you're going to wear, then that is the point that I normally decide what my end goal is with the makeup. And just looking at your own face and really understanding what works for your face can make a huge amount of difference and you can use a lot less makeup if you put it in the right place. That's when suddenly makeup is a total miracle worker. That's how I like to get ready. <laughs>